Hello friends, you all must be waiting for the calculation of Brigu Bindu ever since I have uploaded the video on Brigu. Brigu point. Now Brigu Bindu or Brigu point is nothing but it's a destiny point even called as Fortuna point though there is a, there is a, a, a difference in both but then today I'll explain to you what is Brigu Bindu. Now, Brigu Bindu is one point in your horoscope which becomes a very sensitive point that shows your purpose on this planet. It shows your past karmas that you are supposed to come and reap here on this planet. Good and bad both. Please understand. See, people always uh, understand karmas as bad karmas. No. If you are supposed to get, get something from this particular uh, incarnation of you, you will definitely reap the benefits. And if you have done something wrong, you are supposed to pay it back in this incarnation, in this birth. Now, to remove the Brigu Bindu, you have got a lot of softwares available. The software, you have to just type in Brigu Bindu calculator and you can very easily do it but my purpose of showing you the calculation is just that if you are interested in astrology or learning astrology for that matter then we should know the manual way of doing it and it is not that difficult few things that we have to understand and to make you understand the same I would want you let us go on the board and understand this. <clears throat> now, I want you to just... <clears throat> this is a chart, a very common chart, chart I that uh, call is as a Kal Push Kundli, where always I put Sajit, uh, Aries, sorry, at the Lagna, because it always says this is the first uh, sign. So, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer and so on. Right up till here. I have not mentioned it because it is not coming into play. First of all, let us understand it's a destiny point, fortuna point, and Brigu is a sage that has you can say invented or worked on this, and so we know today as Brigu point. Point is Bindu is known as a point. Always remember when we are calculating, it is from the from Rahu as a starting point going towards moon. So it is always from Rahu to moon. Now again, come back over here. Forget about this post for a time. This is a chart of a, of a person you can see. And now as you see that Rahu is sitting here at 10 degrees. I have written over here 10 degrees. The sign is Leo. Obviously, if it is already covered 10 degrees, that means out of the 30 degrees, as I told you, one sign is of 30 degrees. So 10 degrees has already been achieved by Rahu. So the degrees left now to cover is 20. Right? And then every sign is got 30 degrees. I mentioned 30, 30, 30, till you come to moon, which is sitting on 25. Now, I even give you the formula. You have to the calculation I told you that you have to add from Rahu the longitude, uh, the longitude from Rahu up to Moon. So let us see over here. When you are adding, Rahu is at 10 degrees, so I put 10 over here. Moon is 25, I put 25. It makes it 35. Plus these three houses, each having 30, 30 degrees, 30, 30, 30, 90. I take this 90 on top, I add on and I come to the total of 135 which, which I need to divide by 2, break it into half which comes to 67.5. Now let us understand how we are going to do it. So we have to come to 67.5 to come to the Brigu point. <clears throat> now in this particular case 10 degrees has been achieved so left is 20 plus 30 is 50. Now, if 67 minus 50, 17 is remaining. So we will take over here 
we will go up to 17.5 this is the point where your brigu bindu is there so it is in libra it is in tula rashi it is in libra so i have put a star over here which means the brigu point is here now if you look at 17 point uh, 17 degrees 50 minutes when i explain to you in nakshatra it falls into swati nakshatra swati nakshatra so, so seventh house becomes for this person seventh house becomes the life purpose now what is the life purpose over here we have to understand every time any planet which transit any planet which transits from this point i mean to say from swati nakshatra a good planet will give a boost to good things in your life a bad planet may you may have to suffer for in the seventh house it could be business partner life partner or anything which is associated with this you have to even see the lord libra is ruled by venus look at where venus is sitting over here that particular house also will be effect, uh, affected because venus becomes the ruler of the seventh house in which the brigu point falls whenever any pla planet transit or any planet aspect for example any planet over here will, uh, will aspect but it has to aspect the nakshatra point the point it aspects looks you will get the result now i will in my third video on brigu bindu will explain to you if your brigu bindu falls suppose first house what is the uh, what is the implication second house what is the implication third fourth fifth sixth so in that particular house that particular house whatever it signifies okay the brigu bindu will tell you yes this is the area of your life where you have to i won't say suffer but you will get good and bad both the result whenever brigu bindu is activated due to transit or it is activated due to aspect it is even activated if that particular swati nakshatra which is ruled by rahu that planet also whenever it goes into the transit that effect will be felt 100 percent it will be felt so friends uh, wait for my uh, next uh, video where i will explain to you if your brigu point falls into any of these area uh, what will happen now you may ask me a question what if rahu and moon are together so together also there must be at least some gap obviously together means and one one more thing it is never calculated from moon to uh, rahu rather it is from rahu to moon now in if suppose i'll just bring it back on the board suppose this moon was not here the moon was here okay and moon here it was on 25 now rahu from 10 to 25 it is going towards 25 right 10 degrees to 25 degrees but what if we interchange it we make it as moon in 8 degrees and rahu is at 10 now rahu cannot go from 10 degree to 8 degree so what will happen you have to come all the way around out here and find, find out the brigu bindu which may fall right opposite somewhere over here we need to calculate that fine but the simplest and the easiest way is as i told you if you have if you want to find out your brigu bindu let us best use the software you can go on uh, online all free apps are available where you can just type brigu bindu calculator put your date of birth time of birth and place of birth and there you have on a platter your brigu bindu fine thanks for watching my video and uh, this video shall continue where i will tell you if your brigu bindu point falls into whichever house how are you supposed to uh, interpret it and what it says and what is the purpose 
uh, the, the areas that are covered by that house and that house will have good, bad, both the results felt in your life. Thank you so much for watching my video. Stay tuned, like my videos, share my videos and click on the notification bell icon if you have still not done so. Thank you. Stay blessed. God bless you.